So I think we are ready. And um, you are going to be hearing extraordinary musicians creating extraordinary joy. Let's take a joy ride. Yay. Yeah. We're going to ease you in with a set of nice jigs. And if uh, Lindsay Dono is watching, we'll get right to uh, an E tune to start as well. Just got to get the E key out of the way. <laughs> it 
feels so nice to be in this hall again and to have John Ortiz doing sound, having this nice, rich sound come back at us. We've chosen a bunch of sets to do tonight because we like them. And uh, we wanted to play some sets that have some real heart to them because this is a, it's a weird time, especially in Portland, not just here. So we've chosen uh, some sets that we really uh, enjoy and that uh, will go there. Uh, next set, uh, we started that set with uh, uh, Keith Murphy tune, The Puppeteer, into a Dave Richardson tune, Calliope House. A lot of us know Calliope House. Uh, and to, for a big change, we're going to go from here to a Keith Murphy tune. Uh, we're going to start this set. This is in a, a set. If you want to play along, by the way, in a muted way, uh, that's great. Uh, we'll be telling you the keys so you can uh, prepare if you like. Um, this will be a three-tune reel set, starting with Arizona, heading for Steeplechase and Road to Erogi. So Keith Murphy, Traditional, and Adam Richardson. It's a, a tune we learned in B-flat from a fluke CD and got it down to A. So uh, here we go. Enjoy these. Uh, it's a nice way to ease into some rock and reels. <laughs>
Hi there. We're going to do a change it. Now we're going to do a Keith Murphy tune. <laughs> and uh, we like this one. This is a, a, a sweet waltz. By the way, the band is Joyride, uh, Eric Weberg, George Pink. I'm Jeff Kirsten Grip, Sue Songer. Uh, and there are stories about each of us. The band has been around since 1999 in some form or another. And we do a, a monthly dance, usually in non-COVID times, for 15 years here in Portland on First Wednesdays. So that's where we're coming from. And we get to do a range of music at those gigs. Here's something we like to do. Do you want to say anything, folks? Oh, great. Yep. The Band of Introverts does a show. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, that is a Keith Murphy tune. I understand Hapavesi is a town in Finland. That's the most I could come up with about that tune. And we are now leaving the Keith Murphy, Murphy portion of the show. Uh, we'll move on to a couple tunes. Uh, these are a couple, a couple real sets. Oh, you think, you think there's more? No, no. <laughs> So we'll do a couple of reels now in uh, G and A, and they're both French-Canadian. One's traditional, one's not. The one that's not was written by uh, Jan Falquet, our friend from Jean de Coram. Uh, great tune. <laughs> Thank you. 
thanks. I, I see you. <laughs> There's a couple of people outside waving. Um, that's pretty nice. Yeah. George is saying it's nice to have the locals. I don't think he knows you can't hear him. Um, if you've got any of the Portland Selection CDs, you're listening to the piano player and the fiddler on those CDs. Uh, Betsy, uh, the woman waiting outside the door, is fiddling on uh, one of the others. Um, so that's some of the history of the band, I think. Sue and I started in 1999 with a fiddler named Kathleen Towers, a lovely fiddler. Uh, we adopted the name Joyride when Eric joined in 05, I think. And uh, George has been in the band now since 2011. So I don't know, what does that make us? Adolescents as a band? We're young adults. <laughs> we kept our immaturity. We did. So we're glad you're here. We're glad you're listening. It's a little weird not to be able to see you and have the instant feedback we have at a dance, but we understand. Uh, this is a set we've done a little bit. It's uh, Cavers of Crooked Bright. Uh, in front of which you'll hear the Tormont, but you'll hear it in uh, G instead of in its usual C. Anything else to say about these? They're great <laughs> tunes. Thank you. 
Thank you. Recognize that one? Uh, Cavers of Kirkwood Bright is by um, uh, Mike Voss, Mike Voss, and Jean Paul Loyer wrote The Torment, of course. This next set of tunes, uh, it's a pair of tunes. We like to play them a half speed for Contra. Well, thanks. Should we play a waltz instead, like the one we planned on? Uh, so, Lung Canoe. Oh, learn from the playing of Becky Tracy, says George Off Mike. Uh, it's a tune that's named after supposedly some remains found during some road work of an unknown piper. So it's a, a nice waltz about the unknown. Pretty suitable for the current time. A little bit of a mazurka. These next two tunes we're playing um, are at a dance tempo, but it's like half speed in terms of the tunes, and we often can play some very sweet melodies for these. The second one of these, I once was about ready to go to work, and Cabo does a folk program, Gordy, and um, this tune came on, some vocals, and then this gorgeous um, interlaid tune in the middle, 
and I was able to figure out eventually what that tune was, and it is called Maybe I Might. Um, very sweet tune. So that's where that came from, and Shannon Heaton, the wonderful flute player for that. Sue knows more about the first tune. Yeah, so the first tune is called the Tulip Tune. It was written by Naomi Morse, who lives now in New York City, and she said that she had never imagined this being played for a dance. Uh, but we we have done that anyway. Uh, when we play for a dance, we have a, a little more underlay of a beat than we do when we play it in this setting. But um, we, we love to play it. We think these tunes are beautiful. And for all we know, after every time we play it for a dance, people are probably saying, I can't imagine playing that for a dance. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Um, one of our one of the folks behind the table there just loves when the band rocks. So, Christine. Uh oh. <laughs> we'll fix that somehow. The second half. This first tune is um, by a friend of ours, Todd Silverstein. It's called Spice. It's a tune in F. Great fun to play. Uh, into two tunes by Nicholas Williams, a member of Junta Corum. One called uh, Thank You Learning to Jog, which will sound a lot more like running. Uh, good for the Tongue is Trad, right? I'm, I'm confusing it with another set upcoming. Yeah, Good for the Tongue is the third tune in A. That's upcoming. So y'all set? What are you doing here? Sure. Three, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks very much. Oh, you're grinning. Yeah, that's fun. We'll do another one before you for you before we take a little break here. We'll do a, a waltz. Uh, this is written by Rachel Bell. It's a, a relatively new waltz. Le Voyage de la Diabline. We're doing it in G. Most folks do it in D. Is that correct? In F. We're not going to F that. We're going to do it in G. So uh, enjoy conversing with each other, and it'll be great to uh, find out what do you have in common around the band. Where did you where did you learn about this band? If you had, did learn about the band, what what experiences do you have in common with the band, and with each other? These are tunes you can dance to, tunes you can listen to. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks very much. It's fun to see hands on the screen over there. That's fun. Uh, let's take a little break. Let's take five minutes or so and refresh and chat and whatever else. The uh, Kathy, I don't know what you have planned for these people. Is there like a scavenger hunt for five minutes? No, Jeff, not a scavenger hunt, but that's a good idea for next time. I'll think about that. Um, oh, I hope that you are enjoying this music as much as I am. It is just fabulous. And thank you so much, George and Eric and Jeff and Sue. That is, oh. Feeds the soul, truly feeds the soul. So we're just going to take a quick break, and I'm going to make a few announcements. And then we're going to um, come back for more music, 45 more minutes. But I want us to have an opportunity to show our thanks to the fabulous production staff that we have there on site. And so, yes, they are just wonderful. And Christine is going to give us an opportunity to to see who they are. Christine, who's got the 
um, iPhone in her hand right now has been working on the video and our main sound guy is John Ortiz who we have had the pleasure of dancing to his engineered music so many times and also um, also there helping Kim Appleberry and William Watson and as I mentioned before Christine um, is on is on the the video so give you a chance for you all to to see them and to uh, maybe using the reactions give them a thumbs up or an applause to say thank you for all the work that they do or the ever popular hands yeah so um, it is really wonderful to see so many folks here so many people from all over, uh, familiar faces, maybe folks who have joined us for the first time. And uh, it's lovely to have you here. I wanted to let you know that um, we will have 45 more minutes of music, another half hour chat. This is live um, on YouTube and there's gonna be a recording of that. And we will post that link on both of both our PCDC website, portlandcountrydance.org and to our Facebook page so that if you want to come back and relive this concert, you can do that again. I also wanted to let you know that, you know, our, our thrill is that we've been able to present a couple of concerts to you there from Fulton Hall. It's gonna get an upgrade. Those of you in the Portland dance community, we're getting new bathrooms. Is that not exciting? And so there's a lot of construction going on there and we're not gonna be able to have our dance from there in August. And we'll have to see how the construction is going. So we're looking at lots of other possibilities and different kinds of things for that. Also wanted to um, remind you about the tip jar that um, we've got that spotlighted now. So you can see the different ways you can pay PayPal me, which is different than PayPal. You don't actually sign into your PayPal account, but you do PayPal me. Also there's Venmo there for Sue and checks that you can send to her home address. And I want to emphasize that again, all of the tips tonight, 100% of the tips are going um, to the musicians. And they have decided that they want to make a donation for some of those tips today. And so if one of you are close to the mic and you can tell us a little bit about the organizations that uh, you have sure. selected. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, we've chosen a couple. There's uh, the Oregon ACLU has been doing a lot of work around civil rights uh, in Portland these last few weeks. Uh, and they've been a, a really effective advocate for a long time. So part of what uh, we'll make tonight is going there. And another part is going to an organization called Bravo, which works in the Portland Public Schools. It puts, it's based on the El Sistema model from Venezuela and elsewhere, uh, social change through music. The idea is putting uh, classical instruments in the hands of people who don't usually have them. Um, underrepresented folks. It happens in the public schools in Portland. They're up to seven or eight schools now, I think, elementary and middle school. Um, I'd recommend you look them up on the web, both of those places, ALC, uh, ACLU, Oregon, and also Portland Bravo. I think it's called Portland Bravo Youth Orchestra, but really it's a, it's a really good mission to read about. Those are our two destinations today for a uh, portion of what's coming in today. So thanks for coming. Thanks for listening. It's really a pleasure. We're having a, this is about how long we have a break at our first Wednesday's dance as well, uh, meaning about five minutes. So we have some more tunes we'd like to do for you uh, for another 45 or so. We're going to start with a waltz called Nancy's by Chris Romain. This is a waltz in A for anybody playing along. It's a waltz in whatever key for anyone dancing along.
Thank you. Um, let's rock a bit. Here's some French Canadian tunes. Uh, I think you'll recognize at least the third. Yep, three, three, and three. This was played last month.
Oh, A tunes make me happy. Uh, that's Macklemoyle. We have a, uh, so that was Macklemoyle, Avit Gabrielle in E minor, and of course Florida Mandragore in A, the third tune. Um, we're going to do a set now that is maybe the most appropriate just by name for the current situation. Yeah, and for George, it's, uh, it's a set that starts off with Rodney Miller's Bad Hair, <laughs> which is a good jig. Uh, there's a good story about where that tune name come from, you c comes from, and you can read that in one of the Portland collections. I forget which one it's in. You wouldn't, though. Book one. And we'll follow that up with the Jump at the Sun, which is a nice, creepy, sort of Halloween-ish D minor tune. And we'll finish with, uh, we are playing in D minor? Oh, let's do it in G minor. That'd be lovely. And finish up with a Dave Weasler tune called Natalie's. We like Dave Weasler. We do some very interesting tunes of his. So here we go. Some jigging. <laughs>
Thank you. This whole screen in front of us lights up with palms after we play. It's very fun. <laughs> and we're looking forward to reading the comments afterwards. Hope you're talking to each other. What sorts of things you're noticing and enjoying. Oh, yeah. yeah we're, we're bending over to look at our set list to see what we're going to play next, how many times we're going to play it, and who's going to start it, in case you're wondering why we're looking down before we begin everything. So this, this is called uh, Waltz of the Stoves. We learned it from uh, Pascal Jem uh, in Jean Decorum. It's a tune by uh, Simone Rippel. So say, am I saying it appropriately? Excellent. Called Waltz of the Stoves. Uh, Pascal tells the story of moving stoves all day and that this is the tune that came out at the end of the day. Well, ever since Christine said that the earth was moving, I've been trying to like stomp on stuff under my feet and it just keeps shifting around. Right now I'm stomping on a bunch of my clothing. <laughs> we'll see if that makes a difference in this set. <laughs> yeah, the stuff I'm not wearing. Yeah. So three tunes, uh, reels this time. A little darker. Middle tune is a traditional tune. I think it's Scandinavian, Griffin Felt. Begins with Slippery Kate and ends with Larry Unger's Low Down, Ho Down. Here we go.
that is the most uh, durable tune. It's like, what are the notes in that tune? <laughs> they all sound pretty good. Thanks, Larry. Well, let's change it up a little. We've got uh, three more sets for you that we planned anyway. Uh, and here's some, uh, a gentler set. By the way, we do usually do, uh, for dancing, we've got a bombard in the mix. Occasionally, Eric puts down the flute, picks up the bombard. He's also got the harmonica. Uh, in his arsenal, we oftentimes do two fiddle as well, with Sue and George fiddling and Eric on harmonica, and I just stay here on these instruments. Um, <laughs> tonight we're not doing that. What's that? I don't play it. I just pick it up. He just picks it up and doesn't play it, he says. Okay. Oh. Evidence to the contrary. Yeah.
That's so sweet. That first tune, uh, Field in the Forest, written by Adam Broom. Uh, the second by Roger, is it Kale? K-A-H-L-E? Kale? Called Magurific, great name. And the last one, of course, is uh, Maison de Glace by Rajan Brunet. I uh, want to finish with uh, one more set of reels for you, and then we'll do a waltz. We hope you're dancing if you are so inclined. We did share with each other or on your own. Can I say a word about this first tune? Hope you do. It's Terwilliger. Um, I used to host some fiddle sessions in the chemistry lab in high school, and one of my students, Matt Klein, who I don't know if he's listening out there at this point, um, would occasionally bring tunes in that he wrote, and we loved this tune of his. Um, Terwilliger Tempo. He named it after a cross-country running path that he would uh, take his senior year on the cross-country team. Terwilliger Boulevard is just outside this building. It's very close by, so it's a, the ultimate local tune written by a high school student in a chemistry lab just up the street, about a street running past the building. <laughs> Second tune and third tune are both by Nicholas Williams. Second one's called Your Hair's on Fire. And maybe that's a good pandemic tune, a uh, B minor tune. And uh, we finish with uh, a tune we really like called Maine Freeway. Maine is in the state. Freeway. So here we go. Thanks very much for enjoying, for coming today. We look forward to seeing what you had to say.
wish you all could see what we're seeing. <laughs> it's fun to fill Fulton Hall with music and noise and dancing and stomping and the whole bit. Thanks for coming. Thanks for enjoying the show. Yep. Um, the tip jar is there. Uh, remember, a, a substantial chunk of it is going beyond us. <laughs> and uh, we hope you're talking to each other. And thanks for enjoying the music on a Sunday afternoon or whenever you're seeing it. Yeah. We'll finish up with uh, a waltz here also by Jan Falke. We've done some junta quorum here toward the end of the set. Uh, and this is what we'll finish with. So thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks to Jan Falke for such a lovely tune. Thank you, thank you so much. George and Eric and Sue and Jeff, ah, oh, it was amazing. Thank you. Just fabulous. Just fabulous. Thank you. Well, I, Thank you, Kathy. You are so welcome. Um, and I think folks can unmute now. And if you can unmute yourself, if you could just give everybody a big round of applause. Woo
<laughs> Rob. Thank you, Rob. I could, yeah, we could. <laughs> Uh, this has been an amazing experience. Many years ago. Uh, they can hear us. Wow. So if, wow. if you want to mute yourselves, and then we'll have some chat in just a minute, but if everybody will go yeah. ahead and mute themselves. Just wanted to thank again uh, Joyride for coming today and bringing us this incredible joy in our lives and for our production crew, for John wow. Ortiz and Kim Appleberry and William Watson and Dean yeah. Appleberry. Yeah. Have been working hours yep. and hours to put this on. The playing was our pleasure. <laughs> and also, I want to thank um, Ann Noakes and Curtis Roth and Bryce Holt, who were helping with all the Zoom side of things. So, this has just been tremendous. Um, as I mentioned before, we're not sure when our next concert's going to be because there's major construction going on at Fulton Hall, but we will certainly let you all know about that. If you didn't receive an email directly for this event and want to join us on Zoom, if you could, um, you know, we have an address, uh, raindancepdx.com, is that right? I'm gonna ask Ann to put it in the chat box for sure, but you can look on either our Facebook page for Portland Country Dance, um, community or on our website. Um, we don't put the Zoom link directly into social media that comes to you in an email. Yeah. So we have time for talk and I see that the band is still there.